Hello everybody! In this video, I'll be showing you how to make these rabbit ears, which can be perfect for Easter or for a costume. First thing you need to do is decide how long you want your ears to be. Mine are 17 inches long, but you can definitely make them longer, or smaller, especially if you're making them for your kids. For my fabric, I use a cotton muslin, some cotton quilt batting, and lace. Aside from the ear pattern, I also made a pattern for my interfacing. Now because I decided to have my ears just hanging on the sides, I really didn't need the interfacing, so you can ignore that part if you want. After ironing on my interfacing, the next step was to sew my lace onto a muslin piece. For this particular lace, I had to do several zigzag stitches around the flowers just to make sure that it wasn't going to move out of place when sewing all the pieces together. Once you have the inside of the ears ready, then you can put the quilt batting on the wrong side of the back ear piece and then, keeping the two pieces together, put them right sides together on top of the lace piece. Once all the pieces are together, sew around leaving the bottom open. Then you can turn it right side out and iron it to flatten the edges. Now we can work on the headband pieces. I made three pattern pieces, the middle and the sides, so I can sandwich the ears between those pieces and hide all the raw edges. Now for the headband, you do need interfacing because the ears will be somewhat heavy and need good support. But of course no interfacing is required for the straps, which is why I only interface a small part of the side pieces. Once my interfacing has been ironed on, then I can sew the ears to my headband pieces. To do this, I need to sandwich the ear in between the middle piece and side piece of the headband. Both ears have been sewn in place, then we can sew the bottom headband pieces together. And then we can put both pieces right sides together and sew along the front. You're sewing all around, stopping right before you get to the ears on each side. And I only stopped to check my progress and make sure everything was looking good. But it's something you can do in one big stitch line. Now you can turn the headband right side out. Then iron it to flatten the edges. And the last thing to do is to hand sew the opening closed. And that's it! We have a beautiful pair of rabbit ears. Remember, you can use different pattern fabric for the inside of the ear, or just a contrast color, it doesn't have to be lace. Like I always say, just get creative. Keep busy people, but most important, keep safe. I will see you in my next video.